what's up what's up and welcome 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 to my channel thank you for joining thank you for stopping in and visiting if you don't know me if it's your first time my name is Georgia welcome 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 and a little bit about my channels that I strive to inspire all of you I strive to motivate you and in doing so it may bring about a little bit of transformation in your life because if you continue to watch my videos I promise you you will see my journey you will hear about how I have changed my limiting beliefs and disempowering beliefs and thoughts and vibration how I have done all of that and now I'm a different person standing in front of you and so please subscribe at the end and put your notifications on I drop a video daily or I try to I strive to do that and so today I'm gonna talk about an experiment that I'm reading a book it's about our thoughts how powerful our thoughts are our thoughts are powerful guys and uh, this book has nine experiments and I've done a few of them and it just blew me away and I thought I would share it with you and so I will drop the name of the book on another video as I go through more in depth of the book but guys our thoughts are powerful everything in the universe is energy everything the table everything is energy and we are all magnets and pulling things to us now what are you pulling to you you know I like to give this uh, scenario the TV all channels are going at the same time you have HBO you have ABC you have NBC you have CBS if you're tuned in to NBC do you know what's going on on ABC unless you're flipping back and forth like every second but that's not possible to do that because you're gonna miss what's going on you're gonna miss a part of the shows or whatever it is on each if you do that so if you're tuning in all day long to poverty thoughts if you're tuning into stressful thoughts if you're tuning into lack of you're gonna have more of that in your life I promise you our thoughts our thoughts our body react to the mind our thoughts are in our minds and if you're tuning into wealth success prosperity love forgiveness what do you think you're gonna get more of you are attracting more wonderful situations in your life to make you feel loved whether it's from family member your friends will just love upon you success you'll be drawn to people that are successful and successful opportunities will arise opportunities you'll be sitting down and going through your phone a girlfriend of mine told me the other day she was just going through her phone and an opportunity arise for her she heard ding and when she looked it was a great great opportunity because she was dialed in to opportunities and success thoughts all day long you have to see greater than where you are at and then you have to narrow in on that and focus all of your attention into that all day long and that's the inner world where you meditate and visualize something greater for your life where you dream where you speak even though you don't see anything happening because our thoughts create our reality the body reacts to whatever signal it gets from here and in our mind starts with our thoughts before we speak something we think it you know uh, uh, someone used to say if I say what I was thinking girl she wouldn't have liked that and you know say if she if I said what I was thinking so it first starts in our minds we first think something negative or positive or something nasty about someone so it first starts in our mind guys and we create 
the life that we have because we look at everything that is not working. We look at the zero balance or the negative balance in the account and we just think, oh my gosh, it's over. I can't afford to travel. I can't. I, but that, you, can, you, you, you can think a different thought. I'm telling you, you can literally force yourself to think a different thought. And I'm going to show you this experiment. I'm excited to share it with you guys because I've tried it and I promise you, I will never think another negative thought. Even though I, 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 pro, I reprogram myself daily with my daily guide, which I'm going to leave in the link below. I have a daily guide. I'll share it with you that I practice every day. Okay. Because we think, I, I think I heard some things like over 60,000 thoughts per day and it's mostly negative. So you have to reprogram yourself daily. How do you do that? By listening, by reading, by reprogramming yourself listening to audios or vlogs or blogs or reading information that steer you in that direction of reprogramming the mindset. And so I have a step-by-step -step guide that I use and I'll leave that link for you. Let's get right into the experiment, the power of thought alone. So the book I'm reading, guys, these are wire hangers. I just straighten them out. They are plain old wire hangers. And then you make an L shape. And these are plain old straws, guys. Plain old straws. Yes, 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 yes. Plain straw, old straw. This is a hanger. So you get two wire hangers. And you straighten them. And then you put make an L shape and put two straws. Now, I'm going to show you that we are magnets and that everything, everything on this planet, in the universe, is energy. And our thoughts are energy. So, let me tell you, I'm going to just hold it right here. I'm not going to do, it's jiggling around. I'm not going to do anything, but it's going to be steady in a while. And when you're thinking something sad, it's going to crisscross over like that. You can see my hand moving, right? Because I'm showing you. It's going to crisscross like that when you're thinking something sad. When you're thinking something happy, it's going to open all the way like that. And then I'm going to think about something that is to my right. And both of them are going to, you see, I have to hold it. Both of them are going to go to my right. I'm going to think about something at the right. And then both of them are going to go to the left when, I'm, when I think about something to the left. So let's get the experiment started. I'm going to clear my thoughts. I'm going to take two deep breaths. And these are steady. You can see I'm just holding the straws. I'm going to get these steady. I'm going to think about something sad now. And I tend to get emotional. So that was something sad. You can see my hands are not moving. I'm just, I'm just holding the straws, guys. So I'm going to clear my thoughts now. That was something sad. A, a situation that happened a while back that wasn't pleasant for me. And so I, got, I get emotional. And so that was something sad. I'm going to clear my thoughts. And I'm going to think about something really, really happy. That was something happy. I thought about something happy. Guys, you can look at my face. Just move my hand out of the way. You can look at me. My hand is, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just holding it steady. Not doing anything. Our thoughts are powerful. Can you imagine sitting down all day worried? 
and then you get a phone call, someone's in the hospital, someone died, and then you get another phone call of something else because you're creating more sad news. So you get more things to be sad and worried about. That's what happens. And you can attest to that, that when something is going wrong and you're thinking about it and giving it all day, now you can have a period of time because I have a period where I say, okay, that's it, Georgia. You've been crying now for 10, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes because, because people die. Things happen in our lives. I'm not saying to not to, not to, not to get emotional, but don't stay there all day. Don't stay there all day. Know that the higher being has you. So I'm going to think about something to my right now, guys, and I'm just holding the straws. So I'm going to clear my thoughts. Okay, I have a little world ball there with some crystals, and I was thinking about that. Okay, and that is to my right. Okay, and now I have a stand over to my left, and I'm going to think about that. I'm going to clear my thoughts. Guys, these are hangers. Try it at home. Watch this video again and try it at home. Try it at home because until you do the experiment and realize that these are just too flimsy wire hangers and that I influence those hangers just by my thought alone. Guys, I promise you it's powerful. And when you do that and you realize that you have this much power over your life and over everything, it makes you think twice when you want to go in the negative or when you want to use this powerful, uh, was, who was it? Napoleon Hill says, was it Napoleon Hill? The most greatest marvelous thing in the world is our imagination of a human being. No animals have this. Trees don't have this. Only humans have mental faculty. And it is powerful. You create worlds with thought alone. Because it first become a thought. Then you write it down and you give it life. That's why I tell people to journal. Because writing is powerful. We are magnets. And we draw to us the experiences in our lives by our thoughts, by our, by our vibration, because everything is energy. And our energy, the vibration, the sad, the happy, we attract in our lives. I promise you. Guys, you can choose to get my step-by-step -step tutorial or not. It's right there. It's what I use daily. It's in the link below. And I'll leave you an amazing free gift. That will help you as well. So if you're new to me, now is the time, guys. Please subscribe. Please like, please share this video. I, I respond to all of your comments, I promise you. And YouTube algorithm, they like to see those thumbs up and commenting, okay? So drop a comment. I'm gonna leave some videos popping up for your watching pleasure. Please continue to watch. It's your girl, Georgette, I'm getting out of here. I send you so much love and light. Bye-bye.